Hi guys, it's Joanna. So today I'll be talking about two intriguing fragrances from Latafa. Latafa Liam Silver and Latafa Niche Emirati Antique. So last week I reviewed 19 viral Middle Eastern fragrances and when I discuss about these two fragrances, I ask you guys if you want a more detailed review to compare them and a lot of you said yes so here i am doing it for you by the way if you're new here my name is joanna and i do reviews and recommendations of affordable and luxury fragrances in my channel now if that sounds interesting to you then please do keep watching and maybe consider subscribing so if you watch that video you probably knew that i ended up purchasing a bottle of liam silver and not the antique one so when it comes to packaging i can only show you a bottle of liam so this is how it looks like um it's very simple and basic with a light cap and as you can see it is mainly silver even the juice inside i don't know if it's visible actually in the camera it is gray yeah so having said that, BDK Grace Chanel, which is the inspiration of these perfumes, is actually color gray as well, meaning the juice is gray. So they are similar. With the antique one, I can only show you a bottle on the screen. That is how it looks like. And it looks to me very antique, <laughs> hence the name Niche Emirati Antique. And it seems quite heavy as well. So, you know, it looks like um, that proper old um, antique collection bottle. But to be honest, if I have to choose which bottle I like the most, I will still go for Liam. Um, first, because it's simple. I mean, it's not ugly, but you know, it's very simple, very basic. I don't mind if the cap is light and also I'm the type who likes to carry a perfume bottle in my bag and I feel like that antique bottle seems better just to stay at home um, because it's round and it seems like very heavy as well. So yeah, I prefer the packaging of VM. Now, when it comes to price, I'm going to talk about the price here in Europe, okay? Because I'm based in Portugal. Um, Liam cost around 33 euros in Notino, while um, the Emirati Antique cost around 62 euros, okay? So having said that, it's double the price. And I think it's the same milliliter as well. So now let's start talking about the fragrances. And I'm going to start off with Liam. Let's talk about the notes. So the notes listed for La Tafa Liam are fig, cardamom, black tea. In the mid, it has labdanum, iris, vetiver. And in the base, it has sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, and tonka. Guys, I've tested this perfumes non-stop for the past three days because I wanted this video to be as accurate as it can, okay? So yeah, that's what you're gonna hear today. Mm, basically, this is fig, cardamom, and sandalwood, okay? Those are the main notes that I'm getting from Liam and actually in the beginning i do get the patchouli um, and the tonka as well so it is quite i'm not gonna say earthy but it is woody and also it has depth in the initial spray however as it dries down i notice that the patchouli actually goes away and what I am left are just mainly fig, cardamom, 
tea and sandalwood which is exactly like what I get from BDK's Gris Charnel. Um, I must say that the opening of this reminds me of the X-Tray. I have a decant of the X-Tray. I already finished my decant of the original um, Gris Charnel, so I can't compare it live but I am very familiar with that scent and all I can say is that Liam is a bit of a combo of the X-Tray and the original Gris Charnel leaning more to the original version. The dry down of this is just like Gris Charnel. It's very light, very airy. It smells like a chai latte that is very cozy and comforting. I like that the cardamom here is just enough, not uh, making it too spicy. So yeah, lovely, lovely perfume. The reason why I never purchased the BDK Gris Chanel is that I like it, but I cannot justify the price for what I am getting out of that fragrance. Because for me, Gris Chanel is okay. It was not a love and it was never a big love for me to pay for that amount of money. However, with this one, like right now it's around 33 euros. But then I remember I managed to get this for around 28. So the price is raised. I really like this fragrance. So just to recap the scent, this smells like a light and airy chai latte that is very cozy and comforting. It smells like fig, cardamom, sandalwood, and black tea. Now, when it comes to longevity and projection, I'm going to say that it is moderate. And when I say moderate, it will last you around four to five hours. Um, it's not loud as well. It's not a beast mode fragrance. However, if you overspray it, it can stretch to around seven hours. It stays longer on clothes than on skin. So nothing groundbreaking when it comes to longevity and projection of this one. And I remember I received a lot of comments asking if this is leaning more masculine. In my opinion, I find this very unisex. And mind you guys, I'm the type who loves wearing unisex kind of fragrances, okay? For me, this is unisex, but I think if you are the type or the girly who's more into um, ladylike perfumes, this might lean masculine to you. But for me, in my opinion, this is borderline unisex. So that is my thought about Latafa Liam. Now let's talk about the Niche Emirati Antique. And when it comes to notes, it has cardamom, figs, coconut milk, black tea, as top notes, um, iris, vetiver, jasmine in the mid, and amber, sandalwood, tonka bean, caramel in the base. To me, this smells like mm, cardamom, black tea, sandalwood, and it has a stronger fig in the opening compared to Liam. Mm. Also, even though it's this that it has coconut milk, I don't really get a strong coconut milk note in here. The antique just has like a stronger fig mm, in the opening and just a little bit milky. Mm. But to be honest, they just smell the same to me. Now, if you check the notes, which I'm going to pop on the screen, um, the difference of the notes is that Liam has patchouli and 
labdanum. I smell the patchouli in here, but then, you know, it's not something distracting or annoying because my nose is very sensitive with patchouli as well. So this is patchouli and labdanum and the labdanum was just fine as well. Nothing too strong. And then the Nisha Emiratian Tick has coconut milk, amber, and caramel. So those are the notes that made difference. To be honest, I really don't get a strong caramel note here, even in the dry down. You know, in the past two days, I was really figuring out <laughs> if my thought will change regarding this too, if that caramel will really pop out or if that coconut milk will stand out. It didn't. It didn't. And you know, sometimes I feel like us consumers, we are just wanting to find the difference between two fragrances that are actually the same. And we know that they smell the same, but we want to prove to ourselves that they're not, that we just trying to um, put something in our heads just to put difference. But guys, in my opinion, these two are the same. They are just rebuttaled. Yeah, that is my final thought about this one. Right now, on paper, they smell the same. On skin, they smell the same. On air, they smell the same. The difference is only when I put my nose straight on the sprayed area, I get the caramel uh, note in antique, okay? And in Liam, I don't get that caramel note and instead I am getting like sweetness from the vanilla and tonka combo. There is no lactonic vibes in any of these two. They are just dupes of BDK Grishanel. Now, when it comes to longevity and projection, the antique ones, in my opinion, is moderate as well. Okay, it lasts longer, like around four to seven hours, which is like an hour difference, guys, an hour difference. And when it comes to projection, in my opinion, they are the same as well. I don't find the antique like beast mode level or like um, something that has an amazing, amazing longevity. In my opinion, it is just moderate. When I sprayed it, I asked my husband as well, like what he thinks just to know, you know, that it's not just me thinking uh, the same way. And for him as well, they smell the same. So now, verdict. They are both unisex, both are dupes of BDK Gris Charnel, with the Liam kind of smells like the hybrid of Gris Charnel Extra and the OG in the beginning, but the dry down is more of the OG and the antique one for me as well. I know that I mentioned in my past video that it kind of reminded me of the x-ray as well in the opening yes it does remind me of the x-ray as well even though it doesn't have patchouli but it has like uh kind of like a strong woody uh opening it's woody and figgy in the opening while the liam is more um cardamom and sandalwood and the patchouli in the opening the dry down guys they are the same they smell like a chai latte, okay? Um, yeah, and having said that, I'm gonna say it again. You do not need both. Maybe where you live, they are priced the same. So if that happens, then just choose which bottle looks prettier for you. Since here in Europe, Liam is 
cheaper half the price guys half the price so i will go for liam but if you love the bottle of niche emirati antique you can go for that i think the price is mainly because of the of the bottle to be honest um and yeah that is my opinion about it they are the same and it's redundant to own both so yes that is the video for today guys i hope that i help someone decide or i save someone buying both of these fragrances so yeah thank you so much for watching and if you haven't watched the video that i'm talking about where i reviewed 19 uh, middle eastern fragrances i'm gonna link it down below um, go check them out because I have a lot of Middle Eastern perfume content in my channel. Um, thank you so much for watching and see you guys on my next one. Bye!